Shalom, call Haloyim La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash, double honors unto our apostles and others of great millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you saints of Aki, my dear, that's pushing this 100% truth with all sincerity, faith, and with charity. This is your brother Ash from the great millstone Miami camp. Coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and Lord willing to certify. In this lesson, I want to go into how we, and when I say we, I'm speaking as the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, we should be continually praying to the Lord to be with us in the times to come, in the hour of, of Jacob's trouble, okay? All hell breaking loose, which is what we preach about all the time. We go into the destruction of Babylon the Great, okay, as well as the four corners of the earth. We, we go into it all the time. And we expect the Lord to be with us in those times. We don't expect to be taken with the same destruction that these people are going to receive. We're prophesying of the times to come with hope. That the Lord is going to be with us in the time to come. Alright. And the scriptures go into that. So Lord willing this is edifying. I just want to go, in, go into that man. Because we, we need the Lord. <laughs> okay. The scriptures say it's going to be a time like never before. Alright. And the one that's bringing the salvation is the same one that's bringing the destruction. If, if the Lord has it set out for you to be destroyed, there's nothing you can do. There's nowhere you can run. Okay? And on the flip side, if the Lord is with you, and you're in the good graces of the Lord, the scriptures say that you, you're going to be good. Okay? We understand that some of us are going to give up their lives. Some of us are going to be uh, witnesses of Yahweh Shai unto death. But we, we we should be praying that the Lord is with us throughout the way. Okay? This is the book of Luke chapter 21 verse 29. And he spake to them a parable. Behold the fig tree and all the trees. When they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now at hand. Nigh at hand. Okay, this is Yahweh Shai speaking, man, telling his disciples, just like when you see the trees uh blossom and and, and uh spring up, you know it's springtime. That's when uh life begins to to you know bud when you know looking at the, the different plant life. So you know the next season after spring is what summer. So when you see life springing up in, in, in the earth You know that summer is now It's, it's nigh Meaning it's coming soon Verse 31 So likewise Ye when ye see these things come to pass Know ye that the kingdom of heaven uh, The kingdom of the most high Is nigh at hand Okay which the kingdom of the most high Is the kingdom of heaven Okay which is going to be the kingdom of Yahweh Shai And his uh, people The Israelites starting with the elect Are going to be joint heirs with him Okay, so what things that's going to come to pass? When you read above, it speaks about the different signs in the heavens. Okay, the different uh, wars and rumors of wars. Okay, earthquakes in diverse places. The different plagues. Okay, which is throughout the scriptures how we should be measuring the time diligently in itself. So we are well, we well understand Okay, as it is written in Ezra, we will understand that these are the very same times when the Lord shall begin to visit the, the world which he made. Okay, we know we're living in the beginning of sorrows. And we know that we're not out of the, uh, the woods yet. And we know that there's going to be great demonization come down on, on this truth. And the men that have this truth, okay, it's going to be a great insurrection upon all so-called black latinos and native americans okay because it's part of the so-called white man's agenda his depopulation agenda 
And we know this devil is going to uh, lose his mind, as the scriptures say. Because he knows he has uh, but a short time. He's going to come down with great wrath. And we don't want to be caught in the midst of that. Okay? We have no might on our own. We have no, you know, no power of, our, of ourselves to defend ourselves. You see Jake uh, and, and, and these other people, these like these Edomites, you know, because a lot of people understand the time that's going to come is going to be very drastic. It's going to be a, a different uh, shortages and, and uh, you know, lacking of this and that, of, you know, essential resources. And we already see how the, these people move when they have some type of uh, threat or, you know, something like a storm coming. You know, they hoard everything. Okay, but we can't be in that carnal mentality thinking we're going to uh, deliver ourselves. We have to understand that we need our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, to be with us in the times to come. Verse 33, I'll start at 32. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. What generation is that? The, the wicked and adulterous generation that was around during. The time of our Lord, which is the same wicked and adulterous generation that came out of Egypt, yet didn't have faith. And that generation is back on earth today. You see? The people that's walking the earth right now are, you know, the, the worst there ever been. The sins have, have reached the heavens. So we know that this is the time that the Lord is going to come back. You can't see these uh, GMO babies. They call them Generation Z. They call it Generation Z for a reason. Uh, a lot of these people born after like 2002, two, three, Something like that. They call them Generation Zers, man. As a matter of fact, I believe it's before the year 2000. Okay. Because I'm a so-called uh, Generation Z. You know, based upon my age. But the water Yabba Shemiah shot the Lord pulled me out of the world. But these uh, young uh, Jakes out here, especially, you know, talking about our people. You can't see them growing up and having a family of children of their own, man. They're totally through. So we know this is the time where the Lord is getting ready to come. You got a lot of our, our people that's... They say, oh, not in my, the Lord ain't coming back in my lifetime. Maybe my grandchildren or, you know, something like that. Well, there is no hope, okay? They say the, the children are the future. These so-called children today are, are, are destroyed, man. Verse 34 or 33, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Okay? So the word of the Lord is, is, is firm. It's unmovable. That which was written the fourth time shall come to pass. Verse 34, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged, meaning your hearts, your mind, okay, overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that they come upon you unawares, right? The scriptures tell us to uh, be sober, be vigilant. For our adversary, the devil goeth uh, about seeking whom he may uh, devour. So you can't you can't be caught up in the spirit of this world to the point where you're not focused on, on the Lord anymore. Okay, as the scriptures say about that wicked servant, he he began to to uh, drink with the drunken. Roughly paraphrasing. Meaning you took this truth and you cast it to the side and and uh you 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 took on the spirit of this world through uh, you believing in, in some vain doctrine, something that's you know not a part of the doctrine, something that's not a part of the uh, hundred percent truth which we teach, starting with our apostles and others a great millstone, or you you uh into these women, or you trying to, you know, uh secure a bag, so to say, in this in this world. Or you, you know, into your own folly, whatever it is you got going on. To the point where you, you not, you not focused. You're not taking heed. Okay, and I'm speaking to myself first. We don't want to be in this spirit. 
We want to be on point. Okay, and if you stay on point, you don't have to get on point. Because we we living in the uh, times of any any day now. All we know is that there's a, we don't know exactly when the Lord is coming. But he left us signs, he left us clues. And, and it's on an any day now basis. Because all, we, we know that it's just a few more prophecies that have to pass off. And we are, and we out of here, man. We waiting on to make that RFID microchip mandatory, okay? Which is the the mark of the beast. And we know once that happens, you can you can uh start looking for the missiles to fly because we know World War Three is coming right after, which is going to be a, a super short war, okay? Because it's going to be a nuclear war, and that's when Yahweh is going to return to deliver his elect. So that's 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 how fast this thing is going to happen. Like our apostles and others been telling us, which even if you look right now, man, the days are flying, man. I remember last year, year before that, we were saying how these times is going faster, but it's literally going faster and faster to the point now a week is like a couple of days now. So it makes sense a while the Lord said, and so that day come upon you unawares. Because if you're not focused, you before you look up, a week done passed, two weeks done passed, and every day, every second is closer and closer to Yahweh Shai's return. You see? So we can't we can't uh sleep spiritually. We have to be spiritually awake at all times. Verse 35: For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. You see, so the Lord is going to come back as a trap, as a snare. And he's going to catch everybody on the earth sleeping. He's going to catch them lacking. Okay? Like he told Babylon, that has been way, you know, he told uh, uh, Belshazzar, the son of uh, Nebuchadnezzar, he told him, that has been weighed in the balance and found wanting, meaning lacking. Okay? Yahweh Shai is about to crack those clouds and he's going to let these people know, Okay? Through the spirit of his father, Yahweh, that hey, you 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 have been these people have been uh count lacking, caught lacking, man. And we don't want to be lacking. We want to be spiritually uh secure. Meaning, having on this armor of the Most High, which is the Word, dwelling in your spirit. Okay. Verse thirty six. Watch ye therefore and pray always. That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man. You see? So we should be watching and praying. That's why we're constantly going into uh, the uh, different news websites. And, okay, looking uh, for what's going on in the planet Earth. Linking it with prophecy. That's, that's watching. And we're praying to the Lord to increase uh, these different things that's going on in the earth. To speed the prophecies. Okay, praying for one another, praying for ourselves, examining ourselves. Okay? Because we want to be accounted worthy. We, we don't want to be taken, you know, uh into the destruction of these people. We want to be delivered. And Lord willing through the spirit, man, we don't we don't speak and we should be spiritual optimists, man. You shouldn't uh you should be in the spirit of of uh not you know, because we understand that some of us have to uh, go. I'm going to let the this, this, this scripture speak better than me. Okay, this is Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. Okay, so some of us is going to be thrown into prison by the so-called white man, Esau Edom, who is the devil that the Bible speaks of. The spiritual demon Satan can't take you and put you in the prison. That's talking about a man on earth. And those prisons is talking about these different uh, uh, concentration camps, FEMA camps. Okay? Or they're going to have uh, what's these different quarantine camps set up for people. And you know they want to uh, put us in there. But the Lord said some of you is going to go there, but not all. You see, some means not all. So not all of Esau is not going to catch all the brothers, man. You're going to have a good number of brothers out there that the Most High is, is with. 
and got, got them hid somewhere on the move and Esau can't get them. Okay, and Lord willing, that's that's what you should be praying for. We should be praying that that's our lot. Lord willing, you know, that's our lot. You don't want to go into no concentration camp. We understand if, if that's the will of the Lord, that's the will of the Lord. But you should want to, you know, be uh, delivered every step of the way. And if you do have to get taken, that the Lord bust you out of there some miraculous way. You want to be alive on the earth. And actually, because the scriptures say that, uh, you know, one of the best things of life is to see the, the destruction of your enemy. See the downfall of your enemy. So you want to be here on earth to witness this place go down. All right. You want to be able to live the scriptures where it say, my servant shall eat or drink, you know, have abundance. Okay. Shall sing and dance while, uh, you know, Joel 5, at destruction thou shalt laugh. A destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. That's that's what we want to, uh, you know, play out through the spirit. Okay. And ye shall have tribulation ten days, meaning however much period of time. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. You see, so if we do have to be faced with death, Lord willing the most, I put the spirit on us to endure even unto death. Okay, but we're praying to the Most High that He He uh uh you know has us escape from all these things that's coming. You escape from the famine, meaning you fed. You escape from Esau coming down with great wrath. So the Most High got you here somewhere. The Most High may raise you up with spiritual power, cause that's coming. Most High say He gonna raise up a standard, and that standard gonna come in various forms. The most are going to have angels out here protecting and guiding brothers. You see, it's not all, all doom and gloom. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't have that spirit, man. Okay? Because he's, the Lord said, pray always that you're worthy to escape. That's what we want to do. We want to escape. And the Lord has made a way for his elect to escape these things that's coming. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. There have no temptation taken you. But such as is common to man. Okay, so the temptations that we go through, the trials that we're going to go through, it's all common to man. There's nothing strange, nothing to the point, you know, that's, you can't uh, go through it. Okay? But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. You see, so we, we're praying to the Lord, you know, you know the, the faithful one. And we're believing and expecting for the Lord to not put something on us greater than we can bear. Meaning whatever it is we have to go through in these times, the Most High is going to give you the spirit to endure it. No matter what it is. But we're praying to the Lord that, you know, we're able to, to escape these different trials. Uh, because we're all going to be tested. It's not like, we, you know, you're going to just... Slide off into the kingdom without having, you know, no trials or tribulation. No test without the Lord testing your faith. Okay. The Lord is going to try each and every one of our, our faith, our level of faith. So that it can be made manifest. Okay. But you shouldn't be uh, expecting to, to be destroyed, man. Brother's been going, you know, uh, into what's your expectation, which expectation is is your hope. You know, me personally, I, I don't I don't want to go to a concentration camp. I pray that's not my lot. I, I pray that the Most High raises up a standard for me. You know, low willing, you know, I can receive spiritual power on a higher level. Then then what we have now, the Most High give me the power to defend myself, defend my family. Okay, may defend other brothers and other members of the hopeful elect. That's that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I uh, expect, man. And I, I say that humbly, but that's the spirit that we should all have. That's the spirit we should pray for. And if we do have to, you know, give our lives, then we we that's going to be even it's going to be glory even in that for the Lord. 
But it says, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. You see, so the Lord, no matter what it is, the Lord, Lord willing we are that elect, you're going to have a way to escape. And that's the key point. We're praying to the Lord that our faith fail not. Then whatever we go through, he gives us the spirit to endure it. That you may be able to bear it. Meaning we, we won't uh, put it off. We won't lose our faith. We're going to deal with whatever comes our way. Okay? So that's, you know, something I uh, wanted to uh, go into. Let me uh, bring out one more precept. Okay? Drive the point home. This is Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Okay? We always go into this. That word kept in the Greek tyreo meaning to guard or attend to carefully. Okay? Meaning we're attending carefully to the word of the Lord, to this doctrine, to this ministry, how we do things in this truth. While we yet have liberty, while we, you know, these people are still able to go out and turn up in these clubs and do all their wickedness and whatever their, their lust tell them to do. But we're putting, you know, making our bodies a living sacrifice for this truth. Okay, so since we're doing that, because we, we're doing that, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation okay so the lord is going to attend to us carefully in the hour of temptation meaning when all hell break loose so that means that in those times to come you you're going to be doing better than what you're doing now okay that's that's when 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 the prophets of the lord uh spirits really going to turn up while everybody else is dying of famine, dying of the sword, okay, dying of disease. Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. You see, so it's going to be made manifest what everybody's uh, truly made of. You see, we're going through that trial period right now. Going through these different, because it tells you in the book of Surah, the second chapter, we're now coming to serve the Lord, prepared our soul for temptation. All right, so we're being tried in the fire right now, each and every day being in this truth. So, Lord willing, when that time to come, you, you have been already proving yourself spiritually, so to speak. And, Lord willing, the Most High, you know, grants us that, though, though, that mercy of David. So we could just, you know, breeze through these times with a. You know, knowing that the Lord is on our side. Okay? So that's just something uh, that I wanted to uh, go through through the Spirit. Okay? Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. And with that, I hope it was edifying. Call all your Shemiel Shah. Till next time, Shalom.